Hi guys, it's Chantal here. So I wanted to do a killer kit video. I finally killed my May Scraptastic kit. It was called Janglin. Um, I got the main kit and the add-on. I'll link below um, the video I did when I showed everything or op opened everything up that I got in this kit. So let's jump in. Um, of course I will still have um, the stencil so I can put that in my stash. I did use it quite a bit actually in this kit. Um, I have one uh, Scraptastic always does these cutouts. Um, it's like puddle jumper. I'm pretty sure I'll have to take a picture of Asher like jumping in the puddles or something. We haven't done that yet so I'll definitely use that one. I have a couple acrylic pieces left over. I'm actually done with acrylic pieces so I think I might just uh, pass them along to my mom. I have one flare left so we'll go in my stash. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these left. I'll put them in my stash. I have quite a few of these, this is from the ephemera pack from the Pink Fresh Studio. So that will just go into my stash as well. I actually used quite a few of them, so I was happy about that. Uh, I used quite a few of the stickers. Not as much as I was hoping for, but they will get used on something else. So. Um use a lot of this. This will definitely get used up in my project life. I know that for sure. Um, Amy Tan stickers. I did use quite a few of them so I'm happy. Some more to go. But I always find these easy to use around. Um, used a couple of these. It's hard to, for me to use pink thickers but uh, they always get used up. This I used quite a bit of, so I'm proud of that. That's awesome. This I cannot believe I <laughs> for as excited as I was. I never did use this as much as I thought I would, so back into my stash it goes. And this is all the paper I have left. So I am done with this kit. I am so excited to be moving on to something else. So into the garbage most of these will go so yeah now I did quite a few layouts I did one two four five six seven eight nine ten layouts that's pretty good for a kit I think so this was just a quick one I did of my hubby and our, I celebrated our 16 year anniversary on the 10th of this month. So I did up a little recap of what happened this year so far. Uh, this is an old picture. My middle child uh, finished his elementary school so now he's off to high school. So uh, this was the last photo that they had hanging up in our school so I decided to scrapbook it and we all look so, like I think Asher's like two in this picture and my guys, they're so, look so tiny now, now they're just teenagers so, so I did this one, I think it turned out pretty good. This one was a little bit different for me, um, I still don't know if I like the fact that I framed the little dragonfly, but it, this one's called Hello Mr. Dragonfly. But, oh well. That's one thing I like about kits. They do take you out of your comfort zone, so. This one is called After the Storm. So, I got to use the clouds, the acrylic pieces. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but... Um, this one is called A Day of Fun by All, when we can do um, a family activity with all three boys, because we have 16, four, well, 
he's going to be 14, sorry, 13 and 3, it's a good day. So this was at our uh, multiplex here in town. So of course everybody was having fun. So I do like this, how this one turned out. Um, this is from my stash. But, and the three, but that's okay. You should be pulling out, right? Your stuff as well as the stuff in the kits. Um, this one is of my hubby and I, our wedding picture. So I did have one for this year. It's called the best 16 years. Here's a fun one of Asher. I love how this one turned out. It's called hashtag so silly. So really love how this one turned out. Really like the papers that came in this kit. It was so much fun. Another one. This one's called pretty cloud. Um, yeah, this is by the time I'm getting less uh, papers in my kit. So it was a little hard. I brought out one of my, um, oh, what are they called? Um, oh, Lordy, I can't believe my mind just went blank. You know, the folders that, embossing folders, there we go. And I did up some of the paper, or the paper that came in the kit. And I love how that turned out. I never did that before, so I'm going to start really doing different things with my kit. So, there's that one. Uh, this one, I guess, is just called Raindrops. This is the one that really poured in town here. But, yeah, this is definitely the end of my kit. So, I still like how it turned out. I pulled in some stuff from my stash, like these, um, they look like enamel dots, but they're not. They're candy, um, pop-up things. Some clouds that I had gotten in my freckle fawn, or I'd bought in from my freckle fawn kit. Hearts, and then, of course, this. And then, last but not least, I still had one more picture I wanted to use, and... I'm not gonna lie, I cried <laughs> when I, I just picked up all this stuff. This is paper is from uh, the Fancy So Fancy by Simple Stories. It's the water triangle one. You can see the triangles are on the back. Um, I cried because I used paper from the 6x6 pad and then from the 12x12s that I picked up. And uh, yeah, I don't know why. I figured. From now on, I'm going to keep all the stuff that I picked up from anywhere close by and I'm going to use it in my kit no matter what because it seems like I get all excited about a collection and then I hoard it for some weird reason. And you know what? I love this page so much and I use the stuff and I'm, I feel good about it now. Like, you know, these are still from the Scraptastic kits. This is clouds that I'd cut out with the paper that came from the So Fancy. And then I picked up this paper. So why not, right? We can't, you know, keep everything. Might as well get it onto scrapbooks and enjoy them. So yeah, that is my kit and I'm glad to call it done. So as I say every time, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!